How's everybody doing? It's been a weird week so far in Wyoming. Yeah. Okay. Well, we moved on to next after the little people. There is this legend. Legend has it that this is the research that Sarah did. Legend has it that when Fort Laramie, Laramie, L A R A M I E was trading a po trading post, the person in charge brought his daughter along with them to the post. His daughter slipped away on her on her horse while her father was away, and her, her horse and rider completely vanished. Year la years later, the legend grew among the Indians and traders that her ghost appears every seven years and rides along the old trail at Fort Laramie. She is not the only one there in the fort, though. There is a headless man that moves about the grounds as well. One which haunts the captain's quarters, who goes by the name of George. There is even an old cavalry officer who tells people to be quiet before he disappears. Even an old Civil War soldier haunts the grounds. No one knows which side he was on. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, that is... Not the name of our story. See, the name of the story is the Green Lady and many others. See, the legend has it that the girl is the Green Lady. Well, f frankly, someone we have, someone hired us to go see if we could get any of this on camera. And see if we can find out if he was north or south. Yeah. We went there to do that. But we almost hit a, we kind of hit a snag. <clears throat> see. Well, we were setting up at the fort. We've gotten there. and Well, me and well, Sarah got a little pissed off at me because, uh kind of ate the girl's last Twinkie. Silence, right? Why? I bought the damn Twinkie. So basically, they weren't hers, they were mine. That's what she said it was about. Well, anyways. I mean, the snag was is that Sarah was so pissed off at me that she didn't set up all the equipment. Didn't help Jim set up all the equipment while I was setting up the EVP, you know, the doing the EVPs and all that EVP session. So I had to go around and help Jim set up the rest of the equipment while Sarah was a little bit pissy with me. She had been for the past couple of weeks. So. We set up cameras where the four, and it was about the time for the girl to come back. About seven years since she came there, so they said. So we set up cameras about around the Ford area where she would have came through, where they've been told what's been said. Set them all up. We set one up in where the captain's quarters. George, you know, and we've set one all around outside so we can catch a glimpse of this guy. <clears throat> of the guy, of the Confederate soldier, or was a Yankee soldier, no one really knows. So I set off to ask that very question in the area that he would know where to be in. Are you Confederate? Or are you Federal? Are you a Yankee? Oh, you're a southern boy. So I continued to ask that question what Jim nearly got ran over by a horse. So he said he was out in the open area where the fort was at, where the main gate was. And he had told me that he heard galloping of, you know, like kind of like the horse was coming up. You know, the horse galloped. I don't know. I'm not going to. 
pretend I even know how to make that sound. And he said that just as the horse was riding up, it went straight through him. I mean, through him, kind of like Slammer did Dateman. <clears throat> He wasn't slimy, but still, he was shocked, in shock, and he was cold. He said he never felt that cold, deep cold. Not to mention it was dark out, and it was pretty cold that night. We, uh, then this little sir put some, you know, wrapped him up, and a little bit of stuff, you know, wrapped him up, got him something warm to drink, set him up, well, the lights in George's room started flickering, and Sarah saw it, so she ran towards, you know, where it was, where it was flickering, you know, ran towards the light. She also saw an apparition. She didn't really describe it. She just said she saw an apparition. Not much of a description of that girl. Because when she's shocked, she's shocked. Because it was right there in front of her. She stood there for a little bit and shook her head. And started picked up a recorder, the recorder and started uh, doing the EVP session. All she got out of the thing was... George, no, and a few other words that were untan and untangible. None, you know, you couldn't hear them. And Jim, all he said afternoon was horse. The horse hit me. Yeah, that's that's all he he. He said, luckily we got a, a lot of this on footage on cameras, night vision cameras and stuff set up for the building. I still did not get an answer from the, the soldier, the Civil War soldier. I still got no answer from him. So, yeah, well, we left with no answers. But we got enough footage to prove that, yes, it is haunted, so we still got paid. But Jim just saying, horse hit me, was just hilarious. I repeated that for a couple hours after he... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I almost got decked. Well, then... I apologize to Sarah and uh, for eating the last Twinkie, which I bought the Twinkies. Come on, people. Please, I bought the Twinkies. Wasn't like the only Twinkies left in the world. We're not going to go on a Twinkie search. It's not like she's trying to find the last Twinkie in the world. You know? There's plenty of them out there, you know? Just saying gonna slap me over a damn Twinkie. Really, girl? Ah, please. <clears throat> well, guys, I thank you for uh, listening. I got 206 subscribers. I was shocked when I got 28. And I don't know if I draw a loss too, or did YouTube take them? I don't know. So please do like and subscribe. If you like it, like it. If you don't, don't like it. Just don't put hateful crap in my my chat, on my comments. Because you will get deleted and uh, you will get banned. Because homie don't play that. Grim don't play that crap. So good luck and good night and God bless.